The movie opens in Cairo, Egypt, showing public chaos in the street. A prologue states that a team of American archaeologists has unearthed a new P.Y. Ramid buried deep beneath the desert. The locals hold a belief that the pyramid is cursed, and its disclosure will result in an unavoidable catastrophe amid the chaos, a documentary crew arrives to film one of the most significant archaeological discoveries in Egyptian history. Upon arriving at the site, a news reporter Sunni and her cameraman, Fitzy, begin reporting on the discovery they show the footage of the pyramid, emphasizing its exceptional nature. In contrast to the traditional four-sided pyramids of Giza, this particular one stands out with its three sides. Sunni mentions that Dr. Miles Holden and his daughter Nora, a pair of archaeologists, had the potential to rewrite history with their remarkable discovery. As Sunni goes on explaining the uniqueness of this architectural feat, she's continually interrupted by the barking of dogs afterwards, she interviews Dr. Miles Holden, questioning him about the specifics of his search. Miles elucidates that there are certain ancient texts referring to the geographical areas as potential locations for the lost pyramid of Akhenaten. He speculates that this might be related to the unusual three-sided architecture they've discovered. Following this, the crew approaches Nora, who clarifies on camera that the three-sided pyramid is not the pyramid of King Akhenaten. She further states that the structure they are dealing with is buried below the surface. She explains that it takes millennia for sand to build up that high which means that the pyramid structure predates the reign of Akhenaten by generations when Sunni inquires about archaeologists' resistance to using satellites. Nora reveals that many scientists are hesitant to embrace innovation or to deviate from traditional methodologies later on. Miles and Nora tell Sunni about a satellite orbiting the Earth and show her the specific area where the pyramid is located they have figured out. A tunnel to make their way into the pyramid that leads directly to its tip and tree. Sunni asks more about the satellite, and Nora responds that she was inspired by an article titled SETI Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence Sunni then inquires if the aliens are using pyramids as a means to visit Earth, but Nora laughs it off, saying she doesn't believe in such theories. Throughout their conversation, Miles tries to steer Sunni away from discussing satellites, suggesting they focus on archaeology instead however, Sunni argues that the satellite aspect is significant as it represents the dawn of a new era in archaeology this disagreement upsets Miles, as he believes that the essence of pure archaeology is being lost amidst technological advancements, later in the evening, Nora is on a phone call with her mother. She assures her that she will be safe throughout the mission, just then, she spots a remotely operated rover vehicle called Shorty, designed by her boyfriend and fellow team member Michael Zahir, a robotics engineer. It turns out Shorty was originally developed by NASA for Mars rovers, enabling them to navigate challenging terrains it is equipped with built-in recording capabilities. Capturing both visual and auditory data once inside the pyramid, Shorty will transmit real-time footage to the command center, providing valuable assistance to the mission the next day the Egyptian laborers who were tasked with breaking through the tunnel, inform Miles that they have found their way inside the pyramid. Hearing this, Miles's team, accompanied by Sunni and her news reporting crew, rush to the tunnel upon removing the final stone, an unexpected explosion takes place, releasing a toxic gas mixed with fungus that engulfs the vicinity one of the team members, who inhales this air, suffers from a panic attack, causing him to collapse to the ground but before his condition deteriorates, medical personnel quickly arrive and rescue him a short while later, Miles receives a message from the Ministry of Antiquities, instructing the research team to evacuate the area within 24 hours it's because of the mayhem and wide-scale violence caused by the protests in Cairo. As the locals are against the foreigners intruding on their pyramids due to this, Miles decides to abandon their mission and depart by the following morning, however, Nora tries to persuade her father to at least send Shorty to see what's actually going on in the pyramid after a while of deliberation, Miles reluctantly agrees to send the rover vehicle inside the pyramid. In the next scene, an Egyptian corporal, Shadid comes to check on them and orders the team to leave as soon as possible Michael who is the only one understanding Arabic, assures the officer that they are in the process of wrapping up their activities and will depart soon following this. Shorty is sent inside the pyramid in order to map the interior. Michael controls the rover, and as soon as it enters inside, it detects minimal traces of toxic fumes. The walls within the pyramid display the symbol of Osiris, the Egyptian god of the afterlife, and the first pharaoh all of a sudden, Shorty is attacked by a mysterious figure, 
which startles the team behind the monitor suspecting that it might be the same dog from earlier, Michael continues to drive the rover deeper. In an unexpected turn of events, the rover goes offline and Michael loses all the external control with the failure of their mission, Miles suggests that they return home, but Michael refuses to leave without his $3 million rover, he tries to convince the team that they venture inside the pyramid to retrieve his expensive creation, also citing that it's loaned by NASA. Miles is skeptical about it, but the team eventually convinces him to proceed with the mission. Shadid also offers them two hours of time to recover their device, after this Miles, Nora Michael Suni and Fitzy proceed into the pyramid, once inside, Nora takes out her own camera to document her diary Miles consistently cautions the team against touching anything because the ancient structures are very unstable, which poses a risk of collapsing at any time a short while later, Michael finds a broken piece of his rover, which makes him worried. As they venture deeper, Nora discovers a hole leading upward and urges the team to explore it upon climbing through, they come across various objects and structures, which makes them even more curious. Nora also finds a metallic structure stained with dried blood. Despite being a warning sign, she nonchalantly takes the sample for further examination, during their descent, the guiding wire supporting Miles unexpectedly snaps, causing the team to lose their sense of direction. Stranded without a clear path, they enter a room where Michael locates his missing rover, however the room's fragile floor collapses beneath them, causing the team to fall into a pit to make the situation worse, a large piece of debris falls on Michael crushing his leg and trapping him. The team makes every effort to free him, but to no avail in the midst of their struggle, Sunny finds a hole, so she decides to climb out in search of an exit and seek help but as she proceeds to ascend, she is unexpectedly attacked by an emaciated feline creature that scratches her face, forcing her to retreat. Not long after, Miles stumbles upon a door and reads its carvings, warning them against entering. He then suggests that they wait until the army comes looking after them, however Nora disagrees as Michael doesn't have much time and opts to search for another way out before leaving him alone, she hands him a torch and kisses him, promising to return back. But minutes later, the group hears Michael's screams, prompting Miles and Nora to rush to his aid when they arrive at the location. They are shocked to only find his severed leg pinned under a rock, the bloodstains on the ground indicates that he was dragged into a shaft and devoured by some kind of bloodthirsty predator this tragic event leaves Nora devastated but her father encourages her to stay with the team and focus on finding a way out as they reunite with Sunni and Fitzy. Miles hides the truth and tells them that Michael crushed himself while trying to move the stone, the team then continues their way through the tunnel, and Nora senses that something is following them, her assumption proves to be correct as they are soon chased by a pack of the creatures. In a state of panic, they hasten their pace and come across Shadid, who is there to rescue them. The soldier manages to shoot down most of the small creatures, but he is eventually attacked and devoured by a larger predator, witnessing this Miles quickly makes the group turn off all the lights and hide quietly in a corner to avoid being detected. During this tense moment, Fitzy notices that Suni's facial scars are getting infected and her eyes also don't look good some time later, the team notices a carved mural that depicts passages from the Book of the Dead and its guidance toward achieving immortality, Miles explains that it represents the concept of final judgment where souls are weighed by the god of death Anubis against the massive scale held by Mott, the goddess of truth if the scale balances. The souls are passed into the afterlife subsequently. The group enters another tunnel, where Miles unintentionally activates a mechanism triggering a sand burial booby trap. As the tunnel starts filling with sand, the group runs as fast as they can to save themselves. In the chaos, Sunni falls into a pit and is impaled on several spikes the others try to rescue her but she tragically succumbs to her injuries. They all mourn her loss, but they must continue in search of an escape. After walking cluelessly for a while, they come across another missing part of Shorty. Fitzy realizes its antenna can be repurposed to establish communication with the outside world he ingeniously rewires the rover with his camera and makes it ready to record Miles then sends a video message explaining that he along with his daughter and a cameraman are trapped in the excavation site and need help additionally, he also issues a warning that the pyramid is infested with deadly creatures, so anyone who decides to come to the rescue must bring guns with them later, Miles discovers. 
A hidden door and manages to open it, revealing a way to the burial chamber upon venturing inside. They are confronted by a shocking sight, several remains of the deceased. As the group explore further, they find the corpse of a 19th century explorer along with his journal detailing a potential escape route, however, before they can fully process the information, a clawed hand suddenly pierces through Miles's chest, tearing his heart out. Nora cries out for her father, but Fitzy pulls her away, and they flee to safety worse to their luck, the burial chamber closes on them, trapping them inside left with no alternative. Fitzy makes a brave decision to confront the deadly creature rather than live in constant fear as he slowly returns to the burial chamber, he witnesses that Miles is still alive and tied to a large scale, Fitzy captures this harrowing scene on his camera, as the creature weighs Miles' heart to determine his worthiness for the afterlife finding it impure the creature eats the heart resulting in his ultimate demise following this. Fitzy returns to Nora and shows her the captured footage Nora, identifies the creature as Anubis, a hybrid jackal, and human who consumes the hearts of the impure or guilty people after Anubis departs, Fitzy goes to retrieve the gun from the deceased soldier, while Nora takes a flare from her father's lifeless body moments later, she comes across a written text in the chamber and deciphers a historical account the pyramid was constructed to imprison Anubis, who is seeking to reunite with his father, Osiris, in order to access the final gate of heaven upon looking around the chamber for a while. The duo finds a shaft with a rope ladder and speculates that the soldiers must have entered the pyramid through that path, without any delay, Nora begins climbing the rope, with Fitzy following suit, suddenly they're ambushed by Anubis, who then snatches Fitzy away. Determined to escape, Nora continues her ascent, but Anubis comes after her as well, in a desperate move, she ignites the flare and manages to push the creature away. She uses this opportunity to reach the top of the rope, despite her extreme exhaustion, she is almost out on the surface, when Anubis reappears and captures her. When Nora regains her consciousness, she finds herself bound to a pillar in the burial chamber. She also sees Fitzy, desperately pleading for help. Tragically, Anubis smashes Fitzy's face in front of her. Despite the overwhelming terror, Nora acts sanely, she uses a blade, hidden in her hand, to start cutting through her bonds. Once free, she uses the same blade to slit Anubis's neck, as the creature trembles in pain, a horde of peril cats show up and launch their attack on him amidst this distraction. Nora makes her escape, but she passes out, just before clearing the pyramid's exit. When she awakens, she sees a young boy holding her camera suffering from scratches and infection, Nora pleads with the boy for help but before they can do anything, Anubis appears from the dark and lunges at them as the screen cuts to black.